Hey everyone, Julian from Memory Cards, and welcome back to another video. We recently put out a video about the best Switch games to own right now, but that focused on major retail releases. In this video, we are going to showcase some of the best Nintendo Switch indie games. Let's start off with the honorable mentions. The Binding of Isaac. While this game was at one time an indie game, it has evolved into something bigger. It received a full retail release on the Switch for 30 bucks, so in my opinion it has drifted away from the indie moniker. Fantastic game though. Human Fall Flat. This game is undoubtedly hilarious. Any game with this type of physics manipulation is bound to elicit some laughs. However, you really need a co-op partner for that to occur as the single player experience is lackluster. And now for the list. Flint Hook, Metroidvania, Roguelite, Hookshot, Randomly Generated, Pirates. Interested? Well then Flint Hook is what you are looking for. You play as a space pirate who pillages across the galaxy attacking ships and looting what you can. Each ship's layout consists of connected rooms, each filled with their own enemies and obstacles. Clear the rooms and find the treasure. Simple, but effective, and the gorgeous pixel art visuals will scratch any 16-bit itch. Death Road to Canada. Wow, what a name. The name is enough to draw curiosity. Death Road to Canada is a roguelike game with permadeath. It means each time you die, you start over with a new character set. It sounds strenuous, but can be quite rewarding when mastered. Each run you embark on will have your four-person party explore zombie-infested locations as you travel to the safety of Canada. The combat is very basic, but is well-crafted and never really feels dull. One of the most interesting parts of Death Road is the text-based encounters you will run into. These multiple-choice scenarios will have huge impacts on your run, so making the right choice is imperative. Has a ton of replayability so you know you're getting your money's worth. Good luck, that road is tough. Golf Story The polar opposite to the frantic chaos of the previous two games, Golf Story begs you to just chill out and hit the greens, bro. Seriously, there is a type of euphoria that just oozes out of this game and I can't put my finger on it. It could be the whimsical soundtrack and the environments, or maybe how smooth the actual golfing action is. All I know for sure is that Golf Story is super fun and exceedingly goofy. I mean, a golf RPG is a pretty silly concept in its own right, but hey, you know what? It actually works. You start as a young golf prodigy that must travel the different themed towns and master their each unique course, all the while developing your skills and leveling up. Side quests are abundant, and the challenge level never feels overwhelming. The best part of Golf Story is that you can set your golf balls down anywhere at any time and start swinging. Thank you Golf Story devs for that. Overcooked. The best thing about Overcooked is how easy it is to introduce to non-gamers. While it can be pretty challenging in later levels, the hooks are set in early and the determination to perfect each level is palpable for all types of players. The goal of Overcooked is to scramble around each unique kitchen fulfilling the customer's orders. This is not a new concept in gaming, but never before has it been pulled off so effectively. Truly a fantastic couch co-op experience, and that's where the Switch excels. Match made in culinary heaven. Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley was a breath of life into the stale life farm sim games and will stand as one of the best games in that genre. Mixing elements from Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, and Animal Crossing, Stardew crafts a melange of delightfully entertaining farming. Not a ton to say that already hasn't been said, but this game feels like it should have been made for the Switch in the first place. We are so glad it is here now. Wizard of Legend. Newly arrived on the Switch, Wizard of Legend is badass. The mix of martial arts and magic inform the game's combat, which is smooth and hectic. You bounce across the screen, pulling off devastating and satisfying combos with everything from lightning storms to ice blades. The co-op is incredibly fun, and that's where this game truly shines. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning into this video. If you liked it, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, let us know down below what you think about this list, what games would you add, which would you take off, what are you looking forward to, let us know. Bye!